Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, we're diving into Recraft. It's a premium image generation and editing tool, and it's designed to empower creators and teams. Their AI toolbox gives users a ton of control over the entire design and creation process. Recraft has even been featured in The Times, TechCrunch, and Business Insider. So we're going to put Recraft to the test today. We're going to test out three demos, text generation, photorealism, and creative upscale. The link is going to be in the description as always. And by the way, Recraft has over 3 million users. In fact, their version 3 image generation model has been on the top 5 of Hugging Face's leaderboard for the past few months, outpacing Midjourney and Dolly, which is definitely no small feat. Alright, so make sure you head on over to Recraft.ai. And once you land on a site and you've made a new account, this is going to be the main interface that we're working with today. And first impressions, it is a super clean interface. Of course, we're just going to come on over to the create new project button. We're going to click that. Recraft already has starter projects here that we can jump into. So whether we want to jump into basics, removing a background or upscaling and enhancing an image, we can jump right into ready to go projects that are going to help us along with our objective here. But let's jump into create new project and start from there. All right, we're going to come on over and create a new image here. Let's go ahead and do that. You're going to see all your settings on the left hand side, and it is a very clean and easy to use experience here. So first things first, if we click right here, we can select our model and style. Recraft currently offers a choice between two models, Recraft version 2 and their newest model, Recraft version 3. While the models drive the core generation process, you could explore a vast array of supported styles for each model, offering endless creative possibilities. So some really cool comic book cartoon kind of looks here, depending on what kind of art style we want to go with here. Some vector art, or vector icon, graphic design. This is great if you have a business or you're into marketing here. You can do some really cool stuff with that. We're going to show off the graphic design section in particular here a little bit later in the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And there's a bunch of other styles here as well. So just make sure you have a good look at all that. All right, we're going to start things off default here. I always like to start off default. So we're going to keep the V3 raw. So we're going to go back to our image and let's go with a prompt here. All right, so let's go with a prompt. So I'm going to say a serene Japanese garden at sunset with a small koi pond cherry blossom trees and a traditional wooden bridge in a vibrant paint tree style. Now there are a bunch of settings to choose from here. So for example, the aspect ratio, the artistic level, I'm going to go with four image generations. I want at least four to go through here. As I said, we're going to keep things super default here. I got a cool prompt I want to try out. So let's go ahead and hit the recraft button. All right. So here is our creations here. So we got a couple of images to go through. All right. So first impressions here, this is a really good looking set of images here. Loving the style, loving the, loving the artwork. Now this is where the magic happens with Recraft. Recraft allows you to fine tune your creations to your heart's content here, even after you make your images. So you can kind of go back and forth and refine as you go. So for example, if I come on over to the top here, now I can click on fine tune. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go with a completely different model here. I'm going to go with a photo realistic model. So let's go ahead and click photo realism. I can even adjust the slider here if I want to retain the similarity between my images, which is a very useful tool. I'm just going to move this over a little bit here and go highly similar and I'm going to keep everything else the same here. So we're going to make a photorealistic creation of our existing image here. So let's go ahead and click on the modify image. All right, so here is the original and here's our next batch of images here. So let's have a look here. All right, so this is exactly what I had in mind. It's, it's essentially a photorealistic version of our original creation there. So this is perfect. Have a look here. Looks really good. All the koi are jumping in the pond here. So let's go down to the adjust color section here. I can go in and adjust the color settings after everything is made. So let's go ahead and create the saturation a little bit. I can create the brightness. Here is the contrast, the opacity. I like the saturation here. See how I can adjust this right here. There's even a color spectrum here. If I want to keep the theme of, let's say, the cherry blossom tree here, I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit reset here. We're just going to adjust the brightness a little bit and then adjust the saturation just a tiny bit there, right? Okay, that looks really good. So I have my images here and it is ready to go. Now, if I'm happy with everything, I can come on over to the top right here and click on export and I can pick the export settings here. Once you actually make your creations here, there are a bunch of settings as well at the very top. So let's go ahead and click on crisp upscale. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's my new image. It has been upscaled. You can see the dimensions of the original size here. So you can see how much it actually upscaled relative to that. This is great if you have an image that you really like and you just want to go ahead and upscale it and get a much higher resolution. Let's go ahead and hit the PNG. So it's going to download my image. 
And yeah, that is a 23 megabyte version of our initial creation here. All right, let's try a more classic photorealistic shot here. So I'm gonna come on over to create new project. So as I mentioned earlier, we have a bunch of styles of photorealism here. Let's go ahead and do a black and white. All right, so we're gonna go with a photorealistic close-up of a young woman's face, vibrant skin, soft sunlight, and of course this is black and white. Let's go ahead and hit recraft. All right, let's take a look here. So first one. All right, the lifelikeness and the detail is super impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and upscale this last one here. All right, so here is the photo upscaled and blown up. The detail here is incredible. The lighting, the quality here in the detail is honestly mind blowing. This is a fantastic, fantastic photo. So really, really impressive stuff here. All right, so let's create a new project here. So we're gonna come on over to the create new project and click on here. And we're gonna jump into a really cool feature here. So this is called Accurate Text Generation. So this is gonna be perfect for posters, banners, or any kind of layout that requires precise structure. So for example, I'm gonna come on over to the model here and let's scroll down a little bit here. And we're gonna click on the Prestige Emblem here in the Graphics Design tab. And I'm gonna go ahead and prompt my image here. So I'm gonna say, create a banner, summer sales, 50% off this weekend only. And I wanna go with four images here. All right, we're gonna keep everything else the same and let's go ahead and hit recraft. All right, so let's check out our creations here. So here's the first one and here's the second one. Here's the third one here. And then here is the last one here. All right, so these look great. Just wanna point out the accuracy in the spelling and all the wording. And just by using a simple prompt, we got exactly what we're looking for in terms of the spelling and the style here. So you love to see it. Okay, so we're gonna do this in a different way now. All right, let's go back to our image here. We're gonna click this right here. All right, so once you have a blank canvas here, come on over to the top and click on insert. And we're gonna insert a frame here. Let's go ahead and do that right here. All right, so we have our frame box right here. We're gonna add some text here. We're gonna say, party and then i'm going to drag this just so it's center here and notice how it snaps to the center here and insert the next line here we're going to go this weekend really big bold letters here and the last line here, we're gonna say, bring your friends. All right, so we have our frame here and I just picked the pop graphic model here. So I just went ahead and picked that. And I just typed in Hawaiian theme party poster. And then let's hit recraft frame. All right, let's check out our creation here. So we have everything just like we entered in the frame. So we have party, Hawaiian theme. This weekend, bring your friends. Okay, let's check the next one here. All right, so we have our four outputs here. This is going to be perfect for creating a quick poster, a PSA, a banner, just a fun party invite. This is where you want to come. This is really, really great stuff. So, so you can definitely get super creative with this one. All right, we're going to jump into the next one here. We're going to jump into Creative Upscale. Creative Upscale refines details, improves textures, and fixes anatomy. Now, we've all seen AI images before where the faces and hands are totally out of whack. So let's see if we can improve upon some existing creations here. So I just went ahead and punched this prompt in. Outdoor party, lots of people. Now, as we can see, here's my image here, and there are a bunch of people in the image here. So we're gonna see if we can improve upon some of these faces that are off into the distance here. So all we have to do is come on over to the top here and click on Creative Upscale. Let's give this a go. Let's take a look at our upscaled image here. So this is the after here. And I can already tell right away there is way more detail in the faces. Now there's at least a few dozen people here and I'm just looking at every face here. Now this is a really handy feature here. And all I had to do is hit that creative upscale button and Recraft do exactly what to do. So all right, so let's talk about pricing. Recraft is absolutely free to start. Now the free plan gets you 50 daily credits that resets every single day. To put that into perspective, a single image using a simple prompt, it comes in at one credit. So you can easily jump in and start playing around with Recraft for free. Now for $10 per month on an annual plan, you can jump into the basic plan. This is gonna get you a thousand credits per month, creative upscale, priority image generation, optimized image prompts, and artistic level control to name some of the key features with this plan. And by the way, you can use the promo code KINNY11 for $11 off any paid plan. So make sure you find that code in the description below.
All right, so there it is. Recraft brings a unique approach to the AI image generation space, offering a ton of creative control and flexibility. The interface is straightforward to use, and there's a ton of models to choose from depending on what kind of creation you're going for. Be sure to give Recraft a go today and make sure you leverage the free plan. And don't forget to use the code KINGY11 at checkout if you decide to go with a paid plan. Have fun and good luck with your creations.